this video will discuss how to test if a word has an anagram or is an anagram. So the first thing we need to do is get a dictionary. Um, yes, the dictionary should be something like just a list of words. No definitions, just the words. Text file, one word per line. That would be good. Okay, so what we need to do is... write a function to actually turn this text file into a Python list of words. Okay. So, I'm going to create a dictionary. I'm going to open a file. Using this notation here, um, will automatically close the file when you leave this code block. So, line in F, this notation, do not confuse that with this notation. These are not the same thing. This reads the whole file into memory at once and then gives you each line. This reads one line at a time from memory. So if you have an enormous text file, this line might cause your RAM to be full. Whereas this line will continually read from disk. So it may be a little slower, but it's not going to overload your memory. Goodbye. So word equals line off some white space to add this and then we'll return this dictionary. So let's just see if this works. So we took our text file, now we have this giant dictionary. Um, we don't really need these values, one. So we can just print the keys there. We have a lot of nice Englishy words. Okay, now once we have those words, we need to build something called an anagram dictionary. And that is going to take in the words. Okay, so what we need to do is pre process up front, and then we can query words in constant time. So for each word, we need to rearrange the letters in alphabetical order and then use that as a key to this anagram dict and then start appending the actual words onto a list of the key of the sorted letters that means this List on it breaks that string up into a list of single characters. When you sort it, you just arrange the characters alphabetically and then we join them uh, using the empty string, which means there'll be no spaces, it'll just be the letters rearranged. So, if this word the sorted key 
is not in the anagram text. We need to initialize that list and then we need to append the word at the end of this list. So it starts with nothing, then it starts getting words whenever they match. So if you've got two words like kids and skid, when you rearrange those, kids is going to become Kids will become D I K S, which doesn't sound like it's spelled that example. <laughs> so let's just see if this works. Hmm. So you can see here, let's just go to one I can pronounce first, Altius. And this is the original word. This is what the word looks like when you sort all the letters. So that's going to be the key in this anagram dict. And then the only value here is this word because there were no anagrams for it. But if you look in here for any list that's longer than size 1, and I may not be able to find one by hand, here we go. So, the words celebrates and resectable, resectable, both are sorted to this. So, two in this list, and therefore there are legitimate anagrams. So what we need to do is write a function that will query a word. So is anagram Grum dict word anagram dict. So the key is going to be same thing we have here. We need to rearrange those letters. And if the key is in here, this anagram dict we just passed in. Naming is a coincidence. Remember your scope. Values are just going to be that list. So key in this case, this thing is just going to be sorted letters like that. And this list you get is going to be this guy, your RHS, right hand side. So if the length of these values is greater than equal to two, return true. If none of that stuff happened, return false. Okay. So let's not print the anagram text. Let's is anagram from dict, and we'll say kids anagram dict. And if we're right, this should say true. Yes, because kids has these two disk and skid. So, 
that's good. Disk true. Let's see if that has one. No? Let's see if disk. No. Okay. Um just in case you're curious. Let's print out all. Hmm, we need to test this. Let's go through every word. And if it's a legitimate anagram, we're going to save that. So. So we're going to start with nothing, the word in words, if is anagram from fix. Okay. Actually, let's call this something else. but better. Ooh, that's a keyword. And let's just see what happens. Okay. So, let's see how many we have. Uh, okay, so there's 14,811 of these. Let's just take one. So we might need another function here. Okay. So the key, like usual, is going to be that. This is not going to be exactly clear. Maybe. Okay, so what we're doing here is we need to return all the anagrams except the actual word that we're using as our query term because, you know, Kids is not an anagram of kids. It's the same word. Now it might be technically, if you ask like a mathematician or something. For the sake of this, it's not. 
it's not there, let's return the empty set. So, let's find anagrams of this. Mm. So, I guess I should say the anagrams of readable. The anagrams of starlets are startles. Let's see if there's a better one. Let's try divers. Ooh. Drives. Let's try peach. Cheap. Interesting. So, now you know how to find anagrams using a dictionary. You can also do this recursively, where you actually go through the dictionary each time and check, but that takes uh, a long time. This is fast. Do a little pre-processing pre -processing up front with a dictionary. You can get really good query. Uh, search times. So, thanks for watching.